Hey, 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 this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Thursday morning. I hope you're doing well. Today, what we're going to talk about on your YouTube channel, on the fish portion of your YouTube channel, and, and, and I'm actually going to take a break uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, so there'll be no video next Sunday or the Sunday after and um, a little bit later on in the month of July. So I'm going to take a little break. So I want to leave you um, with the lake. The, the This literally is right. I'm literally right in front of my house. The, the, my house is that way. It's, it's literally maybe 50 yards. Um, and it's, thankfully it never floods or any of that. But I wanted to share with you once again, because, I've, because I know I have new followers and what have you. I haven't shared the, the lake in some time. And uh, again, when, you, when you're talking about your, your freshwater aquarium, you should take a look at your, your local stream, your local ponds, your local um, you know, rivers, whatever it may be, uh, rapids, whatever you got going on. Uh, take a look and see what Mother Nature has going on. Because um, I was going to take a walk, but I'm probably not going to take too much of a walk because there's a lot to show uh, right here. Um, so, but before I do, um, there, I have a tank up, upstairs in the, um, in my home office, uh, with chili rasboras. And the chili rasboras are very, very little. They're probably about a half inch to an inch, no more than an inch. And, uh, they like murky brownish water. And I said, put in some Indian almond leaves. And when you put in the Indian almond leaves, the, the water turns brown or tannis, T-A-N-N-I-S, tannis. And uh, as the birds are not, uh, are not happy with my uh, interfering with their, uh, with their habitat, as you can hear them. Um, and so that's something I, I really, I, I've always noticed it, but I really noticed it this morning. And I wanted to share that details. I show you the, the lake behind me. You see a brownish color. And that is because, and let's show you. This is the guy that's complaining. I understand. This is his habitat. I get it. But I want you to notice how brown the water is, right? It's not because it's dirty. Rather, it is because of number one is the the mud, right? The mud around it. You see the mud there, the dirt. That's why you've heard it say a dirted tank. That's what the dirt is. That that's real, that's realistic stuff. That's that's what it is. And you'll notice here again, because I think it's all very authentic. I'm gonna try to walk slowly so I don't mess things up here. Uh, you see also the the little the little uh, jumping around the little uh, ripples. Those are baby fish. So I'll get to them in a second. But you you'll notice as I'm trying to blow it up a little bit. You'll notice here. You see the floating the floating uh, plants here. You see that that is Mother Nature trying to take care of herself, trying to keep the lake cool. Notice again over here, right? Do you see it here? The, and, and I think right now is a great time of day because it's 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 coolish part. Oh, you see a big old fish there? You see a big old fish? Look at that. You see it? Oh my goodness. How pretty is that? See it? There we go. But anyway, um, that would be the equivalent of hornwort, uh, similar to anacris. You'll notice here that is that stuff there trying to, to oxygenate the the water. Again, going back to my to my previous video should you indeed put plants you don't have to but it definitely helps to oxygenate the water right so and then you'll see here why why uh fresh water because you see here these the ducks here having their their morning drink they're they're literally they're they're gargling their water there um so it, it's good for you to notice i, I don't want to disturb uh, the, the nature because nature is, is doing its thing as you see there right uh but then you'll see here you'll see the little the little fish that are strolling by here. Something that uh, you, you'll hear people say, oh, the, the fish eat their babies. Well, the reason they do is because if you look at the at the little fish here, trying not to to move the, the fit, the, um, right? I don't, I don't want to mess up what's going on here. You see the little fish, very little fish that are, that are around, is what, they, what they're doing is they're, they're trying to hide out because they look like brine shrimp. They look like worms. So this is the reason why fish tend to eat their babies. It's not because they're being cannibals or anything. It's just because they look like food. All right. So let's move on. Move a little bit. Let me let me zoom back out. Zoom back out a little bit. And we take a little walk. Take a little walk. Right. You'll see here. Sorry. Sorry, sir. You'll see a lot of fish hanging out right by by the shoreline. Right by the shoreline. As we walk, again, I mentioned before, 
uh, substrate. Notice rocks. That's good uh, substrate there. You see the rocks and you see plants growing on top of the rocks. So again, these are really, really babies right, right there. See them right there? I mean, those were literally born a couple days ago. So you continue taking a walk. You'll notice again, plants hanging out from the outside here. You see, so again, you, you may want to look, make your, your tank look similar to this. You'll see plants literally sticking out, right? That will be the uh, equivalent of bacopa, right? I think that actually might be bacopa. And you see here, it's just kind of growing out, um, growing up. Uh, again, let's take a walk. You'll see here now the shadier part, and you'll see more birds kind of hanging around. See, all right. As you take a walk along, you'll see the more and more of the of the shade. And you'll see more. It's definitely a lot cooler here. I get more authenticity. You see definitely the plants here starting to grow out. See, very, very pretty. And that will actually oxygenate the water some more. Again, looking at the overall picture, again, lots and lots of live plants. And nobody put them there. This is Mother Nature just kind of over the years. I think Father Fish, if you ever follow this guy on YouTube, he mentioned that about, about Mother Nature kind of providing all these plants over the years. And pretty much that's what they do. Uh, is they provide the plants. You see a small school here. You see a fish swimming by right there. Hope you can see it. So pretty, pretty decent sized fish. Um, and so that's the beauty of this, is for you to kind of take a look at what's what's going on uh, and realize the more the more fish are out there, more, and the smaller fish are are in in terms of protection. Um, Again, things, uh, again, nature here, wood, sort of, uh, uh, it's kind of, it's almost uh, almost worn out. But if you continue walking along the shoreline, you will see, oh, there's another beautiful fish swimming by. You see the beautiful, two beautiful fish, equivalent of cichlids. You see them swimming by here. Um, and the reason I don't fish here is because I'd much rather appreciate the beauty of, of nature rather than seeing, hey, let's see if I could go catch these fish. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't want to hurt the fish. I'm here to help the fish. So again, the beauty of, of and you see, they're very authentic here. These smaller fish running away from the, the bigger fish. And uh, again, very, very beautiful fish right there in, in nature. So this is what we're talking about here when we're talking about fish tanks. Again, my, my big opinion is definitely keep live plants. It'll, it'll definitely make your fish feel more at home. Uh, use floating plants. Definitely shade your your fish from the sun or the light, um, and it definitely provides some oxygen for your your fish tank. I'm taking a little walk around again. Again, uh, as I mentioned with my black mollies, not necessarily a very uh, quote unquote sexy uh, arrangement, but the key as I'm getting uh, more and more into these videos and is to realize that what is most important is not necessarily the arrangement but rather that your fish are happy because that's what you want. You want happy fish. I know people tend to go through fish and they say, oh, but I really need to clean the tank. You don't see, you don't see Mother Nature necessarily cleaning this out. Notice, oh, there's another, there are more beautiful fish right there. I don't want to mess it up. More beautiful fish right there. Um, I think I just caught it there. I don't want to get too close. Like I said, this is their environment. Um, what's, what's, really, what's important is to realize your fish tank doesn't necessarily need to look pretty. I know that sounds weird, but your your fish tank needs to be realistic. This is as realistic as it gets. This is as far as I'm walking. You'll see here that the, the, the big tree shading and therefore the fish not being fools. They know here it's shadier, it's cooler. It is the end of June, 2024. It's hot. It's, it is always goes up to 90, 93 degrees every day. Um, they got, they want to stay cool. So this is the way they stay cool. This is the way they kind of, they kind of hide out. Um, and, and, and really it, you, you should Im imitate mother nature, imitate the floating plants, the, the plants that provide oxygen, provide some substrate, provide some, uh, so, like I mentioned, the floating plant, provide some rocks, um, and make sure your tank looks as authentic as it can be. That's all I got. I'm going to go head off to work now. 
And uh, I hope you enjoyed that because uh, I think it's, it's important that, that, that um, when you're looking at a lake, looking at a stream, a pond, uh, rapids, whatever you're looking at, see what's going on. See how it is. Um, you don't have to scrub down your tank. You don't need to like make it crystal, crystal clear. As I, as I really realized with my chili rasboras, it's, it's a really murky kind of tank. What makes them happy? Do your research. See what makes your fish happy and imitate that style. Louis Defresh.